They're often pacing on the outside. Wellwood's Vopel drives quickly for the lead in between horses. Del Pert make that sunny day with Gold Arrow holding the rail. These three now across the track. Driving up from the outside, looking for an early spot is Bill Bow holding the rail fifth. That's Del Perry coming away sixth is Clever Fred, Free the Tigers seventh. Roscoe P. Coltrane and Mohawk Elite make up the field of nine as they move into the stretch for the first time. The opening quarter in 29 and 1 in its sunny day, the leader racing in second is Gold Arrow in third position. That's Wellwood's Vopel. Bill Bow now settles in fourth, racing in fifth. Del Perry, Clever Fred, racing in sixth and seventh position. That's Free the Tiger. Then it's Roscoe P. Coltrane and Mohawk Elite. They race over to the half mile pole and Sunny Day controls the race. He leads a length and a quarter, racing in second, Gold Arrow. In third position, Wellwood's Vopel, and they're halfway home in 59 and 1. On to the back stretch, Sunny Day leads, racing in second, Gold Arrow. There goes Bill Bow moving up to be third. On the inside, Wellwood's Vopel is getting shuffled for three wide. There goes Clever Fred in the fifth. Del Perry along the inside, sixth, racing up seventh. Roscoe P. Coltrane, Free the Tiger and Mohawk Elite. Around the far turn, Gold Arrow is swept in the lead and drawn away by five lengths, racing in second, Sunny Day. Bill Bow hanging on the outside, third, Wellwood's Vopel needs room, fourth, dropping back on the outside is Clever Fred. They turn for home, and Gold Arrow leads by seven. Sunny Day trying to hold second, Wellwood's Vopel has room and is coming on. Far outside, Roscoe P. Coltrane, but they're all chasing Gold Arrow. Gold Arrow cruising to the wire, wins by seven. In second position, Wellwood's Vopel, Sunny Day third. In tonight's seventh race, one Gold Arrow is your unofficial winner. Four, Wellwoods Vopla was second. Two, Sunny Day third. Your unofficial Perfecta 1-4, Trifecta 1-4-2. Please hold all tickets. Let's go to Maywood. Ladies and gentlemen, we are eight minutes away from race number seven here at Maywood. Perfecta, Trifecta wagering on this race. This, the second half of the twin Trifecta. Eight minutes for Maywood's seventh race. In this race, driver Dave Maxwell, who drove number two Sunny Days, lodged a claim of foul against number four Wellwood's Vopel and driver Scott Robbins, alleging interference in the first turn. Now, Maxwell is alleging that Wellwood's Vopel's wheels hit his wheels and therefore flattened his tire. So that's what the inquiry is about. This inquiry is a driver's objection alleging interference, bumping of his wheel there and flattening it. 